Hello and welcome to looking at the machine Mark III by Native Instruments. Um, this is aimed for anyone who wants to have a look at what's going on with the machine, but mainly for people that have never used it before and they're interested in getting started from the very beginning. If you're a beginner, this video is perfect. So I'm going to start with unboxing it. And uh, this is the first time I've ever seen it myself, as you can tell, because I didn't know it was upside down. <laughs> so let's have a look. So it comes in this um, very thick uh, plastic bag, good for protection. Um, it's got a really nice feel to the quality of the build, metal base, and it's very nice. And then we've got a card in there, uh, in there's our serial numbers and our stickers. And there you go, black and white. And the warranty and bits and pieces as well, what you need to do. And in the box is just the um, power. Uh, for those of you who have not used native instruments before, they always send an adapter with all the different... Um, prongs that you need so whether you're in Europe or America or in England or wherever and also you've got your USB square I think it's square USB to normal USB really nice packaged really nice and simple so all you need is the machine the USB the power adapter and some stickers that's it really so let's have a look at the um what it looks like inside and I did have to flip my camera to uh show you this so uh, be wary so let's have a look at the back there. So we've got um, our phones, line inputs, mic inputs, MIDI, pedal, USB. And we'll look at how we can attach them to speakers because this Machine Mark III has actually got um, a built-in sound card, which is absolutely amazing. So you'll be able to run um, sound straight to the speakers without having to go through an interface, which is really good for beginners. Um, you don't need an extra bit of kit. So let's have a look at how to download the software. So first of all, we need native access. Um, we just install that as normal for your Mac or your PC. And what this enables you to do is have everything in one place. So you've got all your serials, all your updates, all your downloads and everything. It's really, really clever. Um, it's like the service center, but a lot easier to use basically. So we just stick that over into our applications for the Mac and just go into our applications and it's not in the native instruments folder that it normally is it's actually a separate one now so just bear that in mind and just start update put in your details of the account uh, you've got with native instruments and in here you'll see all the installed products that you own all the available updates and the things that are not installed as well it's really really clever you can just update all you don't need to go through each individual one or download them from the internet it does it all for you and what's really clever is um, that once you do the update or the install it will install it all for you okay so you don't need to then go in and then install everyone separately it does it all for you it does take a little while there's a lot of gigs worth of stuff here and um, depending on how what what packages you've bought as well you know you make sure you've got enough space on your computer because it's quite um hungry in in one respect but it's um very very cool so i'm just uh putting this on my desktop now and once that's all done then we're good to go so let's open it up for the first time it takes a little while to um search through all your um software the first time but don't worry about that so let's have a look at the preferences we just run through the screens you can see the interface there you've got the device and you can choose what sound card you want to choose again machine mark 3 has got um, a sound card built in which is fantastic so you would choose that if you're running directly from your machine and to the speakers um, you've got your built in um, your built out and stuff like that as well um, you've got your sample rates, your buffer size. Um, 512 is standard for native instruments. Um, I've never had a problem with it. So then you've got your general, you've got your startup, last project, and um, preferred project folder, etc. etc. And you can have a look in MIDI. Um, again, if you're a beginner, don't worry too much about this at the moment. Um, that's for an advanced section. And then you've got your preferences default. Um, you know, just have a look through them. And your library, this is where everything's been installed. Um, and then you've got your plugins. Again, don't worry too much at the moment, but that's just so you know you can tick and untick them. Let me have a look at the hardware. And you've got some color preferences there as well. So that's just a quick overview of the Native Instruments Mark III 
and the software, how to install it. It's very, very straightforward. Um, Native Instruments are very good at making things plug and play, get it out of the box and just get on with it. There's some great new features on this one. And again, this is really aimed for the people that have never used machine before. Catch me on the next video where I get to show you about how to use the machine mark three without the power adapter so it's just bus powered how to plug it into the speakers so you can just get sound straight away without any interface and also how to make a beat and get going really with the sound packs see you soon